going, Sam? New York, where are we going to? Where are we going to? There we go. All right. What's coming, Sam? But he's plankton. Hello, thank you so much for joining us at the Tribeca Film Festival screening of Stan Lee. This is the perfect film festival for Stan because he is a New Yorker through and through. It's in his DNA. It's in, you know, Marvel Comics takes place in New York. This is the place to do it. And so it's such a, a pleasure and an honor to be here. Um, and so with the combination of archival and then we love making these little like action figure dioramas which I thought would be really fun you know I as a comic book fan I always loved uh, action figures and you know I had all the spider-man figures and whatnot so um, I thought that, like, this makes perfect sense and uh, we kind of just like cobbled it all together because everybody that worked on this movie really was a fan of stands A big New York City welcome to the director of Elemental, Mr. Peter. So, yeah, yeah. thank you very much. Um, we're gonna get to you. You're first, though. I, I can see your enthusiasm. I like to see it. Um, so, welcome home. You're you're a Bronx native. Yeah, yeah. I grew up there till I was 10, 11. Can I even say that if I was there for till 11? But yeah, and then uh, yeah. Why did you use elements? You know what's funny is uh, when I was in school and I saw the periodic table of elements, this big graph with a bunch of blocks on it, it reminded me of apartment complexes and uh, all those little, you know, where families in there. And I used to make fun of like copper living next to helium, but don't trust them cause they're gassy, you know, and uh, <laughs> if you live on the down to the uh, classic elements, and, uh, but it reminded me of home. I worked on Finding Nemo, I mean, 23 years I've been there, and so you just work from department to department, and, uh, you know, I love telling stories, and so, you know, I got the chance to do that just because, I guess, the storytelling just couldn't stop. 
Yes. We get some pictures afterwards. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Were there parts that you really wanted to put in that you didn't get a chance to? I think we wanted to talk more about Arnaldo Tamayo, but um, time and space did not allow. It's also a very big story that you, you know, we were we were grateful we were able to incorporate in the way that we did and honor his contribution. You know, Ari, I think the, the most powerful thing about this movie to get us to a future state where anyone can see themselves, believing themselves, having access to an opportunity, is that this movie will will allow all people to see what is possible when you work hard, believe yourself, and then you have others that have your back to help pick you up and keep you moving forward. So the future is is really whatever we want to create it. If you get those opportunities, that's a subject, please. Victor Glover is going to the moon. Victor Glover is going to the Carter was the second black man to get a PhD from Harvard. I found the journal, I found the article, and I read his own words, and I paraphrased poorly, but he said, what we need is not uh, the, the, the history of a selected race, what we need is the history of humankind, boy, race, religious, and gender bias. So at the end of the day, we had a moment here that we all learned and we shared and experienced and we learned. Thanks for the job that the that your team did and doing this and when you were recording it, you know, again, I thought of maybe I'd get a little bit part here and there and everywhere, but I didn't realize the story was kind of, I kept reentering the story, which was kind of phenomenal to me. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and the last work that you know that I put into this thing, I, I, I didn't expect anything like this to, uh, to you know to fall out. I've done a lot of crazy things in my life. <laughs> <laughs>